Welcome everyone. We have for you an exciting finish to the 2v2 tournament. This is possibly uh, going to be a best of two here kind of thing because Reborn Guinan and Murder Mastodon come in undefeated through the bracket stage of the tournament. And since they have been undefeated and Zanx's Zexes have lost a match, they have a you know one pad on that win there. So Zanx's and Zexes, if they take them down here in this best of five match, will get a second shot to give them their second loss, and then that would equal the winner of the tournament. But if Reborn and Murder win tonight, they will secure themselves as the winners of the tag team tournament. With me tonight is Monkey. And we'll be doing a cast here together. But before we jump into the actual video, let's talk a little bit about the road to the finals for both of these teams. Uh, I'll go ahead and introduce one and you introduce the other. Do you have a, a preference on which team you want to talk about? Okay, how about you start with Zanxis and Zexus? No, they didn't face me until the end. <laughs> I'm trying to remember it. It's not coming to me either. Um, I think they actually played Gotrix before that, and then they played Guinan. False news. Fake news. Didn't happen. Anime protagonist is still alive. No, he's not. He died. Uh, yeah, they did. They took the series there. And uh, also, Guinan and Murder Mastodon. So you mentioned they did drop a round in the Swiss rounds. And that was to Zanxis and Zexus in the Swiss rounds. But when it got to the playoff stage, you know, the bracket stage of the tournament after about half the teams had been cut out, Reborn and Guy, or excuse me, Reborn and Murder have both gone undefeated since that point and took a victory over Zanx and Zexus, like you mentioned earlier. Uh, in the bracket stage, they also took a win over myself and versus Doom once again. They even took down Doom twice in this tournament, which I think is really impressive on its own. After that, they made it there. They've kind of we haven't seen any play out of them in about a month because they were waiting on the lower bracket to catch up. And uh, lower bracket had a lot more matches to play. I was myself uh, playing in the lower bracket. I had to slog through a lot of opponents. And then the final match was me versus Zanxis and Zexus. And once that completed, they were finally able to play again here, Guided and Murder Mastodon. But these teams have been a bit of a, a differing styles and philosophies, which I think is really interesting as well. Uh, Guided and Murder Mastodon ha are much more of a, an arsenal for every flavor kind of team. They don't generally run the same thing they ran against anybody else. They almost always create something new for every matchup on almost every map. Whereas Zanxis and Zexus are, are much more almost like the force of nature. You know, they have a couple of arsenals they stick to. Well, yeah, and it's not a knock on any single style, but that's something you see out of Zanxis and Zexus. They pick a couple of arsenals, they basically perfect them, and they don't change very much. Like so, they might switch arsenals, you know, back and forth, but it, it, you know, it might still be the same faith nature that he had last game. Just this one has a Judge of Aries instead of a Return to Nature, and so you'll you'll see some some real interesting clash of styles here. And the other thing that's worth noting is that there's been this kind of like ongoing rivalry uh, between the top cartwheelers of the game, which is Zanxis and Reborn Guinan right now. And so coming into this, if we go over the history of things, 
Uh, you know, I really tried hard to break into the finals, but it, it like the narrative just wrote itself and it smacked me down. It, it, it had no tolerance for fools. Uh, this narrative didn't. Uh, the narrative starts with the first 1v1 tournament, the opener, right after Phantom Dust was re-released. In that first round of that tournament, Zanxis and Reborn Guinan faced each other and Guinan lost to Zanxis in the 1v1 tournament. Then, the next time they faced each other, the rivalry hadn't really started yet. I know Guinan was a little salty from the loss, felt like he didn't really come in as prepared as he would have liked. They played again in the Swiss rounds of the tag tournament, and Zanxis won again. And I know that really started getting to Guinan, that he lost to him twice. And then the third time they met was in the tag tournament, in the playoff brackets, in which Guinan managed to pick up that win 3-1 this time, and advance over Zanxis, which forced them down into the loser's bracket. And most recently, we saw them for a fourth time uh, in the 1v1 tournament, the current one that's running. The finals need to take place still. But in the quarterfinals, we saw yet another match between Reborn and Zanxis, and he also won that one. So they're tied now 2-2. Two and two. Well, and that's more of what I expect tonight. Uh, I think they're both the carry of their team, you know, the front man, the lead man of their teams. And I expect to see that same kind of excitement out of our match tonight. And this is, you know, the best of five of their best of fives. This is game five of the best of fives. And yeah, I'm sure we'll see more matches of them in the future. But, you know, this is kind of the penultimate here. We get down to the, the finals of the tag tournament. And it's going to be a real determining factor here to see like which of these players really comes out on top tonight. And uh, possibly we'll have a sixth match. If Zanxis and Zexus win tonight, we'll see them play once again. Uh, do you have any other thoughts or comments you want to add before we get this going, Monkey? Yeah, I think uh, just briefly touching on the difference between 1v1, I think 1v1 is almost as much of a mind game as it is a mechanical game, whereas tag team is almost as much of a positioning game as it is a mechanical game. So I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out here, the two different game modes and the two styles that come with it. And we'll have to see how that gets going. We're going to get this underway. Um, I know they said that they were talking a little bit about they had a false start where... Zexus accidentally lagged out in the very first match, so they're talking a little bit about that, but we should be underway here shortly, and all right, here we see, looks like a Faith Nature out of Guinan. We saw the amulet, so it's a pretty careful one. Lightning Sword and Flame Sword, and there's the decoy. It looks like the same thing they're running against me and PD on Palace. Zexus has really been favoring that decoy in these tournament matches. Yeah, it looks like it came out of Zanxis. He does manage to get the Venom Fang that time, and the Lightning Sword was erased by Murder. Uh, and even trade, everybody takes three damage. And he's, he's running that Aura Leak, which seems strange to me. Uh, are they going to try for the irregular rhythm, or is that just Aura Leak over Aura Backflow? And that Willow, yeah. Guinan is keeping pressure on Zexus, which is nice. Decides to drop the lightning sword and picks up a second lightning sword.
He's still trying to block that decoy, and he ends up taking an ice sword for his troubles. And now Murder is also running a decoy. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's... Rough situation. Oh, and, like, he could have... Well, he could have... That was a flash hole. But, yes, it is gone. He does get it. It was a good play. He used the manual aim on the lights, lightning sword. I need to move the mouse. I've been keeping the time bar up. Well, we're seeing a much better response to the early start of Zanxus and Zexus this time. Last time against me and PD, PD was getting overrun pretty hard, and I wasn't able to keep up with them with the aggression they were putting down on PD. But the current decoy plus Will-O-The-Wisp and a couple of lightning swords have taken enough shields that Zanxus and Zexus are having a very tough time dealing with it. Oh, there goes the Ice Sword. This could be the close now. Oh my goodness, there goes the Flame Sword. That decoy is absolutely demolishing Zanxus and Zexus. There goes the Lightning Sword for the kill. And that is Game 1 to Murder Macedon and Reborn Guinan with very tight play. The decoy is clutch. Yeah, that decoy was fantastic. The lightning sword got rid of the, the defenses when it needed to. And I feel like they either... One of two things happens here. I, I think either they responded better to the early aggression of Zanxus and Zexus than myself and PDDCM, or they didn't come out as hard. I'm not sure. It's hard for me to read that, because uh, I was talking to this to Guinan earlier, that it's, it's kind of hard. You feel very different watching a match than you do when you're in a match. So it's, it's hard for me to say, you know, wh whether their aggression wasn't quite as hard or if they're just able to respond better. But we do see they were able to handle what aggression there was. Yeah, it looks like uh, Panorama will be the second map. I'm going to assume that Zanxus and Zexus banned City once again, so the highway ban would have been Reborn and Murder. And we see... I had heard a little bit about this arsenal from them. Uh, I believe it goes Mistblade into Swift Skills. I'm not exactly sure what environmental they're putting down with it. Yeah, I believe that's yeah, that's the reduced entropy there. I mean, honestly, I don't think they needed to do that. They Yeah. Yeah, as long as you have it on the box, they can't get up there. Uh, yeah, that's what I did in my match versus them, too. I put the uh, optimization on the box where Zanxus is. That little uh, soda machine up there to, your, to the left of where we're looking right now. <coughs> There's another Dragon Slayer, another Mistblade. Use, I mean. All right, Zexus looks like he has Orb. Um, I'd say it's almost guaranteed uh, at this point. A high-level team is not going to take the risk. He did erase Zexus's. And that one was... Zanxus fakes him out. 
absolute beautiful mechanical play. I mean, that was just textbook, and Guinan fell for it right there. You know, from what they were telling me, it sounds like what they're doing is strong. Uh, the setup, you know, the their ability to fight, but I'm not sure I like the way that it's playing out right here. The reincarnations are so much stronger right now. I mean, the swift punch could break it. Yeah. Oh, he does hit that one, but he takes another reincarnation. And Murderer's got to make this pick up without a shield now. <coughs> oh, goodness. Looks like Oh, and he's unable to make the pickup, so that will be game two. So we have ourselves a series here. Uh this could go either way at this point. Uh Yeah. Well, and like they had a game plan going into Palace, and we see that that worked and executed almost flawlessly versus Anxious and Zexus. So we do see the strengths of that style. <clears throat> However, we see the, the downsides to it here on Panorama. They got something really cute, and Zanxus and Zexus ran like the oldest trick in the book reincarnation with damage buffs, and it just trumped everything they tried to do. And, you know, it, it, that, that really is at least in the first two games, the easiest way to explain the difference between the way these two teams play right there. Like, that is, like, Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Yeah, and we see how both of them work. Now, it's going to be interesting to see which style will show to be the winner here in this, you know, next coming maps. But we don't, you know, you can't really write off either team as, oh, that style doesn't work. I guess they're uh, they're going for uh, vicious. I mean, they take yeah, they take seven aura away from Zanxus and Zexus. It looked like Zexus was already hurting too, but. That, you know, that two aura could be still really impactful if he's got a lot of stuff he doesn't want to overwrite. Yeah, I know that's usually like one of the last things that I'm wanting to overwrite is the greens. Oh, and there's a Frighten out of Murder. That's what's going on. <laughs> they must have been practicing this. This is this is brutal. And we do see them get the boost mine out. I mean, honestly, though, they're still in a pretty good spot. Uh, they've gotten a lot of early damage down, possibly burned through a lot of what Zexus had as well. The decoy, yeah, you had the right call on that. We do see a trance out of Zanxus now. And there goes the Frightened again. They have to have been practicing. Yeah, like the, the timing is 
absolutely magnificent there. I mean, that was... That wasn't the timing. That was Rockshot, honestly. Rockshot's homing didn't decide to stick. But the Rockshot Frighten, whenever they've pro practiced it, is dirty. And he's not able to use his Blazing anymore. Yeah. Oh! Oh, goodness. Did we see an Excalibur in there? What was it? Maybe it was the online... It yeah. I don't think we've ever seen that out of them before. All right. The glacial wall is broken after that, though. Guinan getting a lot of damage with that ice sword. I think that Xanxus is going to make it pretty easily, though. <clears throat> he does take some damage. Yeah, he should have maybe waited. F oh, he picks up an orb. I'm not sure I like that. Um, not sure I like that decision. We've seen Guinan pay for picking up an orb against these players before. Uh, he could have maybe waited to try and freeze Zexus again before hitting that return to nature. But he chooses to use it early. Doesn't get rid of the heat. So he will still have that as an option. Another blazing bullet. Looks like he's overriding at this point. Just wanting to get to the railgun so they can do the railgun frighten. There's a lot of blazing moves, and he doesn't get to use a single one. I think that's the third blazing move he's overwritten. That's just risky, you know, running blazing, and I haven't seen any healing in that deck either. Ooh, Zanxus takes a lot of damage there, and I'm not sure from what. Did you see that? Was that trash? Are you still there, Monkey? Well, it looks like I will be doing a solo cast for a moment here until we get Monkey back. Hopefully he's able to rejoin. Not sure what the issue is there, but we see the Rock Shots continuing to come out. They've discovered the secret to the formula at this point. They need to get on Murder, who is unable to deal with their aggression right now. And it's working, as they just dump massive damage onto Guinan and Murder. The cute strategy was paying off for a while. Okay, we have Monkey back, and uh, I believe he's still got the video running. They were just dumping damage. They figured out the cute strategy, and the answer was to chase down Murder, who is currently unable to deal with it. But they back off, which I do question that decision. Uh, Zexus doesn't have an attack right now, so I, you know, I suppose that's a necessary evil there. He has to go back and dig. We do see Zexus still throwing out what looks like a twist laser. Another heat onto Zexus as he picks up another attack. We'll have to see what they bring in now. Another Glacial Wall. Out of Guinan. That Railgun. Yeah, gorgeously timed. Uh, that Railgun won't be enough to finish off Zexus, though. Oh! Oh, goodness. And there it goes. That's game three. They lost pressure. You know, if they'd been if they had been able to stay in there, they had the answer to the conundrum, but they lost pressure. And after they were able to reset the frighten into the combos with the rock shot and the railgun was just absolutely devastating once again. Oh, yeah, it was it was definitely a fun strategy. I liked it. It was good. But we did see that Zanxus and Zexus had the answer to it until they dropped pressure. Yeah. Yeah, the, after that, they dropped the pressure. If they had been able to keep it up, uh, possibly could have had some tr a chance there. But after they moved away... After Zexus got that attack, whatever it was, as long as he could use it, I feel like they should have moved back in and gotten into the melee and just gone after murder. Yeah, it's 2-1 so far. Uh, it's still possible that 
Zanxis and Zexis pull this back. Uh, looks like things right now favor Guinan and Murder. The once and possibly future kings of Phantom Dust. Excuse me. Zanxis and Zexis looking to reclaim that title. <clears throat> but Murder and Guinan have been playing very clean tonight. Oh, so we do see that was the online Excalibur. It looks like he's using the same arsenal. Oh, goodness. Was that frightened again? Yeah, Zexus is having a rough day. But is it going to be enough at this point? Well, Guinan wanted to, he was willing to trade the flash hole for the reincarnation. Um, and he accidentally blocked it with the fortress, which you could hear him v vocally upset about. Um, but after he had failed to take the trade and take the reincarnation. Ooh, so he loses his willow. Zexus. I think he gets it, though. He only had five aura, so I think he gets it. He is taking a lot of damage, though. He does manage to drop another onto Zexus. So we see a dichotomy here. Both teams have somebody who's very low. Uh, and somebody who's still fairly healthy. Zanxis makes the pickup. Yeah, trades damage there. Oh, the Dazzle. Oh, the Dazzle. Should not have Dazzled there. Just let Zanxis get the free Flame Sword. Ooh, that reincarnation takes a dirty angle. Yeah, we've seen this arsenal a couple times now out of Guinan um, running the double heat with the Lunar Force, and it's been working. He's been getting the damage out of this. So let's see what they're going for now. He's holding onto a flash hole. He doesn't seem interested in erasing the bullet of fire, though. Looks like he's holding out for something else. Ooh, that one right there. Oh, he does manage to catch the lightning sword. Oh, and he cartwheels away from the Excalibur. Man, they have got the pressure on him, but Guinan is an absolute defensive machine right now. He does take a reincarnation, but trades one of his own. His does six. That was an interesting little sword cancel we saw. That's a new skill for Zanxis, too. We see this. Yeah, we see the Excalibur, the Arc of Fire. Like, this is new stuff. And he lost his own reincarnation. That is not a good day. Only picks up one Aura Particle, though, which is an interesting idea. Uh, it should probably burn a little bit more since you are completely attackless. Yeah. This looks a lot like the reincarnation deck that I built. I know that Guinan built a mirror copy of mine and maybe changed one or two skills. I don't know if he's running that version or if this is an altered version. 
Because we saw the trance. We did see Guinan with a trance earlier. Ooh, that was big. Oh, and the iron skin does catch it. Oh, my goodness. That was so close to being the end. It is coming down to the end. Are we going to game five, or do Guinan and Murder close it out? Murder's dead. Guinan at three. Oh, he does. Yeah, he makes the pickup. Oh my goodness. Oh, he takes another big flame sword. Everybody is once again in one shot range. And this is anybody's game. One hit. It, just one hit on anybody changes this. Oh, he catches the flame sword. But he doesn't he doesn't capitalize on the frighten though. But there goes the reincarnation. Can he go for two? There it goes with the Lightning Sword, and Reborn Guinan and Murder Mastodon are your new tag team champions for the year of 2017 with a 3-1 victory over Zanxus and Zexus on lane. Yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Uh... Well played match by all the players involved. We see how the styles coincide and go back and forth. And again, it's every single time they have these cute answers and they work. And when Zanxis and Zexis lost pressure, uh, that was whenever they were able to keep the pressure down and, uh, you know, take Zanxis and Zexis down. An absolutely fantastic series. Yeah. Which I'm not sure how. I don't know if the flame sword missed or exactly what happened there. Because we saw Zanxis U as a second flame sword afterwards. Ghost in the machine. Ghost in the clothes. Well, and we didn't have the angle to see whether that was a, a planned fall or just, you know, happy accident. But either way, that worked out. Like, you know, it, 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 I, I don't mean to, like, take away anything from this match. Uh, it, it worked out in their favor. They were able to make those pickups. We saw Guinan dodging like a madman there up on that roof above his spawn. Absolutely fantastic play there. And we saw some of the brutal force that Zanxis and Zexus can lay down. Uh, we saw them just dump damage on refinery and on lane quickly overwhelming some of the defenses and uh, absolutely fantastic series really enjoyed it yeah we'll definitely be having another tag team tournament start up uh, we've been discussing among the moderators of phantom dust revived uh, on the schedule for that, you should expect it, I would say, roughly towards the end of January, early February for signups to open. And we'll have a lot more of that action coming to you. Uh, there is still, for those of you interested, the 1v1 tournaments finals will be coming to you soon. Hopefully, either this weekend or early next week, we'll feature Reborn Guinan, our tag team champion with Murder Mastodon, versus myself, Bregan123, in the finals of that. And... Uh, yeah, just absolutely great matches tonight. Um, we do have Guinan here with us, actually. I was going to see if he'd want to unmute and uh, just tell me his own thoughts on the match after that. Well, what was your first thought that came to you after you guys won that match?
yeah, I, I thought it was really good play out of you guys. And uh, I, I wanted to ask a, a couple questions about some of the matches as well. On Panorama, besides, you know, going reduce entropy into the uh, mist and swift punch, like what's what's the end goal of that? Are you just playing to get mist into swift? Is that it? Yeah, I mean, the reincarnation pressure was pretty rough on you guys, too. Yeah, that, that didn't go so pretty for you. Um, I'm not sure what murder was running besides the reduce entropy. Was it also misbladed a swift punch? So, also, uh, we saw you use Frighten in two of the matches. Uh, whose idea was it to bring Frighten? Yeah, like I was watching that timing. It was fantastic. <laughs> I could see that being a sticky situation there and a rough day for poor choices. Um, Monkey, you have any questions for Gainan? <laughs> with the blazing. So what you're saying is that you're Shujinko, the copy ninja. Yeah, I mean, undeniably that no matter what you say about any of your arsenals or any of the matchups you guys had is that it did work. You guys made it all the way to the finals. You're victorious in the finals. Uh, Zanxis and Zexus weren't able to get an extra series in the final bracket there. So you went undefeated in the bracket stage. And uh, I'm excited to see you guys 
uh, whether you play together again or if you separate to try and conquer each other in the next tournament. I think it'll be exciting to see you guys play again. And I'd like to thank you for your participation and for everybody else who's been tuning into this. It's been a fantastic tournament, and this was a great way to cap it off. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for everybody being here, Monkey, for casting this with me. And, uh, yeah, Jake for being here. And we'll go ahead and close that off. Tune in for the 1v1 finals, and then stay tuned towards the end of January. You should be seeing the sign-ups for the next tag team tournament.